Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the next episode of What Do You Do at the City of Davis? And guess what? We're at the fire department. I'm here with Luis Perea to talk about what it is that he does. Uh, he's a battalion chief. He's been with the city for more than 20 years. So I'm here to pick his brain just a little bit. Uh -huh. So Luis, what does a typical day look like? Well, a typical day looks like is I when I come on shift in the morning, I work 48-hour uh, shifts. So in, right off the bat in the morning, I meet with the off-duty battalion chief, uh, either be Emily Lowe or Paul Swanson, and they'll let me know what calls they went on or what needs are be needed for the next two days, the next 48-hour shift. So a typical day is I gather all information, sit down and get, um, get as much email information from resources from Chief Tenney or the admin staff, um, Teresa. And as soon as I finish going through my emails in the morning, I'll meet with the crew, the captains, and kind of give them a guide of what we're going to be doing for the next 48 hours. Uh, on a typical 48-hour shift, I'll be responding to medical calls, fires, vehicle accidents, uh, lift assist, um, anything that PD might need us to assist them as well, or public works, we also assist them as well throughout the city. And that's kind of my 48-hour shift of what I do. So when you say 48 hours, you guys are working the... 48 hours straight, and then you guys have four days off, five days off? If we get lucky. Uh, due to staffing shortages, sometimes uh, we're stuck at work more than 48 hours, but we we got to do what we got to do. But, yeah, we do 48 hours straight, and then we hopefully get those four days off. But uh, with staffing levels, and sometimes someone calls in sick or someone's on vacation, we got to do coverage for the city. So our goal is yeah. to always have 12 firefighters on duty and with the battalion chief. So even if a call comes in at 2 a.m., 4 a.m., you're up and you got to go answer that call. It does. It happens a lot, especially at the downtown station. We're actually already hit April and we're almost at 7,000 calls. So we are pretty busy. That's amazing. That's amazing. So what, what's the difference between a battalion chief and a firefighter? So battalion chief, you know, you moved up the ranks. The rankings from the fire department is firefighter. And then after firefighter, you become a driver, firefighter two. After firefighter two, uh, you become a captain. And then after a captain, you take the test to become a battalion chief. Oh, wow. So, so. Is there anything beyond battalion chief, or is that Oh, chief? the battalion <laughs> chief, that's, that's some big shoes to fill. That would be chief tenny spot. So um, I'm at the battalion chief level, which I'm very happy about. OK, very cool. Uh, so why do you work for the city of Davis? Like what? makes this job so fulfilling for you. Oh, I, I love I love the city of Davis. I got hired a part I got hired in nineteen ninety seven and the first day I was twenty three years old when I got the call to work for the city of Davis and from day one this community accepted me as one of the uh, one of them and this fire department to me is like a family. Uh, a little bit about me, I didn't grow up a lot with family um, growing up and when I got hired with the fire department this family took me in and I became a family member. So from day one, the just being around the family atmosphere is what brings me joy to being part of this great community. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. So almost your entire career, or your entire career, has been with the, the city, city of, of Davis. Davis. Yes, wow. yes. I, wow. I did and work. Jinx. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did work four seasons for the California Department of Forestry, but during the summertime, I was a wildland firefighter. But my main goal is to work for the city, and city of Davis, man, took me in. That's awesome. So. Do you guys do other kinds of events with the public, or like I know you guys do open houses sometimes too. We do. We do have. We do have a lot of events. Um, we only not only respond to medical and do open house, but we're also a big part of the community during Thanksgiving. We do the turkey basket program, uh, where we the firefighters do fill the boot and they raise money to like last year we gave out 550 turkey baskets um, for families in the community. Um, not only that, but we also do. Uh, Thriving Pink, where we raise money for um, uh, breast cancer awareness through the Thriving Pink program. Um, we also have firefighters are also very into helping children in the community, especially with Youth Fire Diversion Program. So I am in charge of a, the program where if a kid in the family or the school is concerned about a child playing with fires, we actually set up an academy and we teach the kids about fire safety. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even know about mm -hmm. that. That's yes. That's pretty amazing that you guys offer that. Um, random question. Okay. Do you have a favorite color? A favorite color? Ooh, that one might be uh, red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so
So is there anything else that you want to add or you want to share? How do people find information even about the fire department? Well, we have a, you know, we're very open. We love, we love our community. So if you ever want to come down and visit us, um, if you want to do a ride along, you got to be at a certain age. I believe you got to be 15 years and older to do a ride along with the fire department. It's got to go through like a little background through our admin, but we're always um, welcome. Doors are always open for the community to come in and ask questions. We love, we have, love to give out hats. We love to give out stickers. We have um, pencils. We love to um, be in, engaged with the community. So anytime. So the fire, the ride along means that they actually get to sit in the truck and like answer a call for service, right? Yes. So you actually get to ride, um, ride with the captain and the firefighters and get to go on calls and, and see what a life of a firefighter, what we do, and to also, you know, have interest for the community that if that's something they want to pursue in the future and as a career, how great it would it be to work in your own community? So yeah. we, we have that um, option to do ride-alongs, and it would be great. I'll tell you, I did a ride-along, and it was amazing to see the amount of work that goes into it and how quick they respond. I mean, it really is great. Hey, guys, sorry about that. We just had the generator turn on, and so I had to redo the take. Uh, but I was saying that with the ride-alongs, you see so many amazing things happen. You see how quick these firefighters respond, how well-trained they are. And also um, seeing people just be so grateful when they see firefighters, you know, answer the call. I will say it is interesting to see when the fire trucks go out, which cars actually stop or like how quickly they stop to let yes, fire trucks yes, pass. Yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> now we'll be, we'll be excited to have anyone to come down and, and look into more information on when they can do a ride along. Uh, we'll give you the information and we'd like to see you come by soon. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this conversation that I had with Louise here at the Davis Fire Department in downtown. And don't be a stranger. Come on by and say hi to them sometime. All right. Bye, Bye guys. Bye-bye.